Now I'm going to prepare for you an Albert Bartlett rooster potato terrine with camembert and Brussels sprouts. First off, you need your potatoes. Slice them on a Japanese mandolin or using a very sharp knife. Just be very careful. Take your time and they must be super thin. Right, so the potatoes are sliced. Add the seasoning and then nutmeg. I can be quite generous with the nutmeg because it really does add a lot of fragrance to this dish. But it's always best to grate it fresh. And then finally, a bit of duck fat. You could use butter if you wanted to, or, or even olive oil. But duck fat is, for me, just special. You mix this up so that all the slices get coated in the seasoning and the duck fat. Next step, the camembert. Beautiful, creamy, smelly, delicious. So you cut it into nice thick slices. Now this is gonna melt in the terrine and bind it all together. So we've got our potatoes, our camembert, and now the Brussels sprouts. So we take the Brussels sprouts, cut them in half, and then slice like so, fairly thin. Now, for those of you who don't like Brussels sprouts, anything like kale or curly cabbage would work really well. I just need to season the sprouts and to add some garlic. Very important, garlic and potato and sprouts, cheese, big strong flavors, but they're, they're so delicious when they're combined together. Right, so now we take the terrine. It's my own personal terrine, it gets so much use. It's been greased with the duck fat. So now we go back to our potatoes and we start layering up. And you layer the potatoes at the bottom of this terrine. Now these rooster potatoes are so good for this. They're sweet, they're succulent. Just got the right amount of starch in there as well to hold the terrine together. So you layer all the potatoes at the bottom, like so. Then we get some of this lovely oozing camembert. That is gorgeous. That looks like a crazy amount of cheese in there, but it melts mingles with the potatoes and the sprouts and it really is something special. And press down quite firmly because you want to really make sure there are no air pockets. So we cover the cheese with a layer of potato and then the sprouts. There you go on top. And then finally another layer of potatoes. Really press down, don't be afraid to press hard on it. And tuck them in on the edges. Then we need a little bit of foil on top. And that goes into an oven at about 180 degrees, 45 minutes to an hour to cook completely. Then the most important thing is that you leave it to cool down and put it in the fridge. And if you can, put a weight on top so that it presses down really firmly. Leave it overnight. It needs to chill down completely before you take it out of the terrine. Right, I'm gonna get the terrine out of the fridge. It's been in there overnight, chilling down and pressed with some good old-fashioned weights here. So you can see it's been pressed and it's gone down quite a lot, but it's compact. If you give it a good shake, it should just come out very easily. There you can see the layer of sprouts, the cheese and the potato. I'm just gonna cut a couple of slices and we're gonna pan fry that with just a little bit of duck fat. Surprisingly, it's actually delicious cold. You can eat it as a terrine with a little bit of chutney. Really, really great. But also hot, pan fried, great as a breakfast dish or a standalone dish. Oh, it smells lovely. You can just get the hint of the garlic, the cheese, of course, that lovely molten cheese. And of course, the natural sweetness of that rooster potato is coming through. 
Oh, you can really smell the caramelization of the Brussels sprouts and the garlic. And it's lovely when the potatoes stick to the pan as well, because that just intensifies that beautiful potato flavor. The moment of truth. Having to wait 24 hours for this. Mmm. The camembert cheese is really coming through, but the sprouts give it a little, little depth of flavor. It's just delicious. So simple to make. It's a real great dish. It's one of those that I think you could impress anybody with. Mmm.